New tonight, a suspect killed a man in a smoke shop in Harlem, then ran off. It happened earlier this evening at a shop called Candy Store near 142nd Street. The victim was rushed to Harlem Hospital where doctors pronounced him dead. Now the search is on to get the killer off the streets. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon. Detectives gathering evidence at the crime scene on 142nd Street were looking at this surveillance video showing a hooded gunman aiming and firing at a man behind the counter and taking off. The business is an exotic candy shop, which is a smoke shop. Stores like this have become targets of robberies since they have cash and resellable merchandise. It's not clear if what happened here had anything to do with robbery, but anti-violence advocates in Harlem say shops selling marijuana unlicensed have been the scenes of too many crimes. I'm definitely concerned about all of the violence we're seeing in smoke shops. And so I, I really wasn't understanding at first why they needed to be so regulated. I understand that. Aisha Seku of Street Corner Resources works to prevent violence, and when it does happen, she responds to understand what happened and try to prevent more violence from happening as a result. She says she understands why many of the city's bodega workers want to arm themselves to feel safe, but she doesn't think it's a good idea. It's not usually used to be safe. It's often used in a bad decision at a bad moment and had the person thought it out, they wouldn't have used the gun if it was not so available. Detectives combed the store and sidewalk tonight for evidence of what kind of gun was used here and who would do this as the 30 year old victim died at the hospital from his injuries. We have to do something. This is a young person who lost life while working and it's horrible. The victim's identity has not yet been released. The shooter took off running on Frederick Douglass Boulevard, and the search for him continues tonight.